Sub Infected, how's it going? My name is Apocalyptic Nick, and welcome to another video on the channel. Sorry if I sound a little different, I'm a little sick right now, and I've been getting better, but I'm still a little sick, so bear with me. Uh, so yeah, I probably sound a little, a lot different. <laughs> but yeah, I want to make this video on why I make YouTube videos, why do I do what I do, do I enjoy doing what I do, and all that jazz. The backstory behind really why I make YouTube videos. Um... So with this story, I'm gonna let you guys know of a long, long time ago, way before I started my old cringy videos. Uh, still cringy now, but what the hell. It was back in my time in middle school. I think it was close to 2011 to 2013, or one of the two, or three, that's three years, that's three years, what am I saying? Uh, I believe it was uh, me getting into the eighth grade, my last year of middle school, and I started to question my being there. I kept saying to myself, why am I here? Why am I going through this? Because during that time in middle school, I was bullied a lot. Like, constantly. Almost 24-7. Of course, the struggles of this were real because some kids had no clue I was being bullied. Other kids think I lied about being bullied for attention. Something I would never do. Why would anyone do that? And, which made it very difficult because of these issues happening a lot of more people started to dislike me because some people thought I was being it to get it doing it to get attention other people thought I was just lying and thought I was a person who couldn't be trusted and the kids who bullied me just thought it was fun they liked seeing me get frustrated and flustered and, and agitated oh man I don't want to get into what these people did to me because let's be real you they were not good people and I don't want to give them the satisfaction through this video but, as I would come home very distraught and upset, I would always go on my computer. And, obviously it wasn't this one, it was my laptop, but I would go on my computer and look up some YouTube videos. I would always watch the guy known as Markiplier. And Markiplier really helped me through a lot of times in my life. Um, most of the YouTubers I watch I've all liked, uh, but there's something unique about Markiplier. You know, he was very well liked, well respected. Very ongoing, very enthusiastic, um, mellow at the same time, but, you know, very, he thought of others, uh, first and things like that, so, that really made me grow an attachment to him. So, uh, as days went on and things got bad for me in middle school, I, I would always watch his videos and bright me, it would cheer me up. I thought to myself later, you know, this guy inspired me, I wanna do this, I wanna do YouTube, let's do this. Uh, so the entire time I was kept thinking, what do I gotta do for a name? I, I thought of the weirdest names, I can't remember half of them, but I would like make them things like Cloud76, um, The Pyramid Guy 64. I don't know why I thought there had to be numbers at the end of your name, but I kept looking at Mark's name, Markiplier, and I was like, man, it's just Markiplier, or Cinnamon Toast Ken, or Jack Septicai. Those names are so simplistic, they got like a rhyme in their name, like Mark Applier, Jack Septic. That's so cool. So I thought, I don't want to be Dragon Slayer 89, you know. I didn't, that sounded too weird to me. So I thought, what do I like? I don't know. Oh, that was just something I wanted to do. I was like, what do I want to be, Emily? I don't know. So I kind of thought about it. I don't know, what was it? I think it was during October. I was watching a lot of zombie films. And I watched this one YouTuber. I can't remember from it was some video on YouTube from a YouTube channel I can't remember it was um every single time something would be killed or whatever or just slain in the video you'd hear a guy go apocalyptic oh man didn't mean to do that yell but it was just that and I was like I like that so I don't know why I kept writing down names every single day and I just kept hearing apocalyptic and it just kept echoing in my head I was just like I don't know I just kept hearing that, and eventually my brother was just like, Hey, Nick! And then after I heard Apocalyptic in my head, and then he said, Nick, I'm like, That's it. Apocalyptic Nick. You know, it rhymes, I thought. You know, it seems cool enough, rememberable enough, unique enough. I thought, hey, this is gonna do with zombies. You know, that's awesome. Ironically, considering my channel has nothing to do with zombies. No banner, no logo, no nothing. I mean, that is my logo. It's n that's the closest to a zombie I'm gonna get. Um... So I started my online persona 
And, of course, like most people, I had no clue what I was doing. You guys can clearly tell that through my first video, The Unfair Platformer. Did I take that video down? I can't remember if I did or not. I'm gonna have to check. I don't think I did. I want to. I honestly, honestly want to. Back in the day, I kept saying, oh, I'll keep it up. You know, it's cringy, it's bad, but I'll keep it up to remind me of what I started out with. Kind of want to get rid of it now. <laughs> Because it's too cringy for even me to bear. But, um, that was just something I looked for, uh, uh, I looked forward to it. I wanted to improve. I'd like to say I've improved a little bit with getting a better setup and especially making more detailed videos. I want to make things that were relatable to people, uh, things that could get people out of a bad mood. Like Mark did for me. I was always sad and always, you know, hurt. Whenever I, I came back from my middle school, you know, the way I was treated by these guys just was something I didn't want to go through and I think no one should go through. But I realized I'm not the only one with problems in the world. I'm not the only one who's being, you know, having these issues. You know, people have worse issues than me or, you know, just as issues just as bad as mine. And I thought, you know, I want to be that guy where people can turn his channel, laugh their ass on me like, this guy's amazing. I love him. So I was like, you know what? I want to do that. Um... That's just something I really wanted to do. It was, uh, coming all good around. I just started making videos, started hacking it up, doing what I could. You know, I, I eventually, when I started making videos, I tried to make my own unique banners. That turned out bad until I got somewhat better at it. I'm still learning, obviously. Uh, I had one of my cousins help me with my logo design, which was awesome. It meant the world to me. Probably one of my favorite things about the channel, to be honest. And, um, still grow growing today. But, yeah, that's this whole story of how I became. You know, some, to sum it up, some bad things happened to me at middle school. Markiplier inspired me, and I just went for it. Uh, like I said, he personally does have a lot of <laughs> inspiration. I took a lot of inspiration from the guy. He inspires me every day, even to this day he does. Uh... So, you know, that's why I do a few things similar to his channel. But obviously, you guys can tell I try to be unique. And I'm still doing that. I'm still trying every day. But you guys definitely help with that. But definitely, that's from a long point of view, this is how I became what I am. And you guys really helped me stick with this. Despite the few videos being here, there, and all over the place. Thank you guys for sticking with me, honestly. I honestly have to say that again. Uh, I get nervous when I don't post a lot. Actually, really, really very nervous. So when you guys still watch the videos I post, that means the world to me. So thank you guys. Thank you for that. If I uh, have more like this, I will definitely let you guys know in an upcoming video. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope to see you on an upcoming episode or video I release. See you later, guys.